Whether you watch TV, head to the movies, or log on to the internet, you're constantly bombarded with images, and often these images don't match your family's values. Ted Bear is the publisher of The Movie Guide. Ted, welcome back to Newswatch. Oh, it's great to be with you today. Well, great. You've co-authored a book with Pat Boone called The Culture Wise Family, What Parents Can Do to Minimize the Negative Effects of the Media on Their Kids. Um, and exactly that, what can parents do to minimize the negative effect of the media? Well, first, so that most parents know what, uh, and the reason for the book and what the problem is, is Cornell University did a study that only one out of 10 children keep the values of their parents. That is not good news. The New York Times said that 60 plus percent of the World War II generation were committed Christians, 30% uh, of the baby boomers, and now it's going down to 4%, according to the New York Times, according to Cornell. So it is a very important to teach your children, help your children not to be you know, seduced by the mass media, not to be transformed by the cultural messages that move them away from their faith. If you want them to have faith and values, such as thou shalt not steal, you need to teach them how to do that. The way to do that is uh, outlined in the book very clearly. I can give you the uh, five steps if you'd like them right now, but uh, it, the book does that. It helps you unpack what you need to do. So, Ted, there's so many options out there, so how, how can parents choose wisely when it comes to videos and DVDs? Well, uh, that's a very good question. Number one is that parents are not going to be able to control everything their children watch, so you have to give the, the children the responsibility to be self-controlled. You have to teach them to be self-controlled. At certain stages of development, for instance, I'd say before seven years old, all of the doctors agree that they should not be watching a lot of television, they should not be doing the internet. They're at a vulnerable stage of development where they're picking up their scripts. Uh, they also need to be taught their values and they need to understand the consequences of their actions. So it's extremely important for you to be able to teach your children those five-step process to help them to be self-regulating. And I've met a lot of children who are self-regulating who are doing a great job because their parents loved them enough to teach them how to be culture-wise. Well, moving on to current events, we wanted to get your take on two movies out in theaters now. Uh, one is, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, and the other is called The Ten, which is basically loosed on the Ten Commandments. Can you quickly talk about those movies? Now, I wish you'd talk to me about No Reservations or some of the positive <laughs> movies. The Ten is one of those just terrible movies uh, the Jews and Christians should both be upset about it. Uh, takes on the Ten Commandments and has spoofs of breaking every one of the Ten Commandments. Now this is not fun. The one on adultery has Jesus uh, or a Jesus type character whose name is Jesus in the movie fornicating with a woman. It is a very blasphemous bad movie. For, and I was talking to Don Fetter who is a, a Jewish leader about this. It is a very bad movie. It's not going to be seen by a lot of people. Chuck and Larry, on the other hand, has some good humor in it, and it's more broad audience, and therefore it could be more destructive to younger children because it has this uh, scene in it where one of the characters says, Christians just want us to be as miserable as they are, where it bashes Christians, where it bashes uh, you know, marriage, uh, where it bashes God's institution of how marriage should be. So Chuck and Larry is much more insidious, much more deceptive, and much more able to corrupt children than the Ten, which is more blatant mockery of the Ten Commandments and a sad commentary in society that we're willing to mock a commandment such as thou shalt not steal and Ted. the entertainment industry might want to ask why people are stealing and the kids are taking all the songs, you know, they shouldn't get mad at uh, the kids, they should say why have we taught them this value? Sure, Ted, real quickly, what about, uh, let's redeem ourselves here, what about some of the movies, good movies that you'd recommend for families? This well, there, there are a lot of good movies out there. There's a small Christian film opening up the list, which is absolutely great. Ratatouille is one of my favorite movies of the year. It's a pursuit of happiness in animated form. It doesn't matter what your background, it doesn't matter your biology, you can succeed if you follow your gifts and then there are no reservation for romance it is a clean wholesome romance movie some good recommendations Ted Bear thank you for joining us today have a great day absolutely